Hey guys, welcome to another episode of A Shot of Ruby. I hope you're all doing great. So today we have something very exciting for you. Well, not today's episode in particular, if you already know about this, but if you don't, then it could be very exciting. So anyway, um, so the next few episodes, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn a website that's optimized for the browser into a mobile site, which is optimized for your mobile device. So uh, I've been using this Framework 7 uh, library, uh, well, framework, if you will, and it's been working out really great. Um, you know, it's the closest thing that I have found uh, to having, a na instead of, you know, going native uh, all the way, uh, it uses uh, HTML, CSS, and CSS 3D transitions, which is why it works so well. And, um, you know, I'm going to be showing you guys how to integrate this into your Rails app. Now, I'm going to be using a feature of Rails 4.1. So it's going to be only compatible with Rails 4.1. But I'm sure, I mean, if even if you're using the older version of Rails, you'll be able to find a way around it. But the feature in Rails 4.1 I'm going to be focusing on is called Variants. So Variants allows you to use uh, different templates uh, based on the device that's accessing, uh, you know, the, the Rails app. So um, one thing I want to mention is that uh, basically you're going to need to know about this emulator mode. Uh, basically, this is what my current Chrome is running on in this tab. So if I go here, I'm running in the normal browser mode. And in this tab, I'm running in the mobile uh, emulation mode. And the way you activate that is if you click on the show console button down over here, uh, you're going to get the emulation tab over here. So there's going to be console search. And then there's going to be emulation. So you can choose any device you want. You can emulate an iPad. You can emulate an iPhone. Um, you can emulate a Samsung if you're into that stuff uh, or, you know, a Google Nexus or whatever it is you want to emulate. Right. So in this case, I'm going to keep it on iPhone 5. And as you can see, it works really nice and it's really smooth. Right. So if you haven't tried this already, head over to codemy.net on your mobile device and you'll see it in action. Um, so yeah, check it out. And, um, in the next episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get started setting something like this up in your rails app. If you like this video, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it, let me know why you dislike it and support our channel by subscribing to it. And you get all the latest updates. You know, when the next episode comes out, you get it right away. So please subscribe and help us out. Um, we really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.